okay? Uh, and uh, you will have uh, access to the advanced one just for, um, uh, uh, you know, immediately following here. Uh, so uh, if you are interested in uh, looking, getting a sneak peek into some of the uh, more advanced uh, features uh, and analysis of what bookmap uh, is showing you. Now, to, to get that, you it, it comes along with the uh, you're, you're in trial period or you are already a current customer. Reason being is to just um, uh, go through platform details here, and then those that uh, are using Bookmap, uh, we want to we want to go into much more deeper analysis because there's been a lot of uh, a demand for that. Uh, so uh, we separate it out, uh, get the uh, uh, newer people. Uh, and, and reaching out to any of the newer people, a anyone in here? Uh, let's see. I think uh, Jason, uh, you had said that uh, you were new to Bookmap just the other day. So, uh, uh, how's it going? Uh, what uh, What do you think so far? Uh, and um, uh, any any questions? Uh, just uh, let us know here. All right. Uh, and um, good morning, Francisco. Ah, yeah, I owe, I owe you a uh, uh, reply, uh, Francisco, so uh, sorry about that. Um, let's see, The um, let me give you the link here uh, for that advanced analysis webinar. Okay, it's in the chat. There you go. All right. And, okay, so bookmap platform details. Um uh, Risk disclaimer, uh, equity, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, go to bookmap.com uh, for more information. You, you can uh, become a member there. Uh, you can explore uh, and um, watch maybe these uh, intro videos here if you're new uh, to uh, understand, you know, just give a basic overview of what bookmap is. Uh, and then we'll scroll down here. Uh, these are some of our partners, uh, and then ways to um, uh, connect Bookmap. You will need a data provider, so um, uh, we we don't we do not provide the data. We are a software platform, uh, trading platform, uh, and then some of the pricing information. So there's two versions of Bookmap: the Bookmap Basic and the Bookmap Advanced. Uh, they are billed quarterly. Uh, you get a 14-day trial period, though, uh, so it's uh, it's free. Uh, and, and check it out, follow along, uh, you know, uh, see as, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going through things, uh, take, take a look yourself uh, and um, what uh, you can decipher uh, and ask questions uh, and, uh, and just get better at reading, uh, reading the order flow. Uh, the difference between these two um, versions of Bookmap are the add-ons, okay, and the ability to trade from the chart the one click trading. Okay, now these are uh, package deals with DX feed. It's the same basic and advanced, they just have the DX feed. Now DX feed is not for futures data, it's only for US equities, okay, NASDAQ total view. Uh, you can still get that with the basic and advanced version, you'll just subscribe to it separately. It's not as a package, okay. All right, and then once you're in here uh, in the portal, in the user area, you can find links to education, features, support. Uh, you know, there's Q&A questions or FAQs, uh, et cetera. You can follow along with us uh, on Twitter uh, to get the most up-to-date information. Uh, and then uh, there are YouTube page, all sorts of good stuff here. Um, if you're new uh, to Bookmap, then I would recommend start with the introduction video here. Uh, it's the same that's on the on the website, uh, but then um, uh, watch some of these features and components videos. There's a playlist here, so you can you can open up the playlist, uh, and then you can see them all here. Now let's see here if uh, uh, was it Scott or no, it was uh, Richard um, uh, was asking me. I do not see him in here uh, about the replay mode. Okay, so. Um, uh, anyway, uh, uh, the replay uh, data here uh, and replay mode and how to use it is part of the features and components videos. So you'll find it in that playlist. Uh, it's a very powerful way of learning Bookmap. It's very um, straightforward and you're able to uh, see many instances of Bookmap uh, very quickly. Okay. Uh, then um, uh, order flow video snippets. Watch just a few of these if you're new just to get a feel for what they are, 
uh, and this phenomena that we, we go over more in the advanced uh, webinars. Uh, so you can start to integrate this kind of, um, or spot this kind of uh, phenomena and activity, and then start to uh, adjust your trading methodologies around them. Okay, uh, and then uh, highly recommend watching the uh, the bookmap education courses here. There's four of them, and then you can find the recordings here. Okay. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, uh, Jason, it looks the software looks amazing. Uh, how can you export data from bookmap? to a database. Um, well, the way you can export right now is uh, you can export the time and sales. Uh, that is uh, in a column here. So let's right click in a column, okay? And let's insert a new column. Uh, and then I'm gonna right click again. I just inserted a new chart range volume profile. I'm gonna right click again. And then the di different data types here. There's a current order book, volume, trades counter, quotes counter, quotes delta, notes, which is custom notes and cloud notes, and then also time and sales. So let's open up time and sales, okay? And um, uh, you can actually uh, detach it as well here. Uh, so you have your time and sales in a separate window. Uh, and, um, and then you can export your data here, okay? So just click on that, and uh, you can export the time and sales, okay? All right, uh, let me close this hide this column, just right click and click hide. Okay, so now we go over this because there's there's always new uh, traders in here um, and uh, it is important to understand what you're looking at in bookmap. Okay, so we're gonna start with this candlestick chart. Uh, everyone more or less is familiar. I, I really haven't come across anyone who's not familiar. Uh, there was one guy a few weeks ago, uh, but um, uh, it's the open high low close of a specific time frame okay and in this case what are we looking at we are looking at uh, five minute candles here okay you can uh, uh, adjust for them here in bookmap and um, eh, this is your favorite part uh, Francisco okay so uh, now we know uh, we know the open high low close of this five minute period all right and um, now, the data here, though, uh, you can start to read, you know, the wicks and the kind of selling pressure up here, maybe some buying pressure in, in some of these areas with candlestick patterns. Uh, and, you know, they've been popular for decades. Uh, but there's so much more information here that you're just not getting. You're just not seeing. And that, that's a problem. Uh, the software today now uh, offers much more transparency and insight into these areas. Okay. And uh, this is about 5% of the data. Open high, low, close of a, of a time period, and that's it. Uh, well, you, you don't know about the volume. You don't know where it traded. You don't know their commitment. You don't know what type of volume uh, and uh, how much. And uh, it, it, exactly where is uh, so key uh, and gives such insight. Uh, so, um, in, in fact, I can, I can just look at our, our volume sub chart here. And our sub chart in bookmap is uh, not a true... Uh, volume uh, uh, a chart. Um, like if we look at a candlestick chart, let me just uh, demonstrate this. Okay. Okay. On a candlestick chart, you can just see it in a sub chart here that lines up with the candle, right? Uh, well, here in Bookmap, we're actually, you know, you can see this this five minute period from here to here. Here's the volume. Okay, so I can already see in the in the chart here in in Bookmap, I'm already seeing some exhaustion uh, right in this area here. We don't see a lot of trading, uh, and that's just due not to the candlestick chart, and it wouldn't be to the sub chart either. But it's it's certainly going to be to the um, uh, uh, this sub chart. And once we get the volume dots on here, you'll see the distinction. Okay, so let's start to add some of the levels of uh, data here. Okay, and then we're going to add first this, just the historical best bid and offer. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're already getting insight. Okay, so um, uh, we can see that uh, this is uh, uh, little little micro structural ranges in here. Uh, there's a nice little setup here that we uh, go over in the advanced. Uh, I can already see it here, and I can't wait to turn on the uh, liquidity. Um, and uh, and that uh, exhaustion. Uh, well, you know, it didn't it didn't happen in this five minute period uh, here. It actually happened here, right? 
Okay, so, and, and this is a little range. We see the, the bounce here back up and a little micro range here and then a breakout of that range. All right, so we already have a lot more data just with the historical best bid and offer, but here's where we're gonna get um, a lot of insight, okay? Now, uh, Bookmap is showing you uh, on that historical best bid and offer uh, where the volume traded, okay? We can see where it traded by the size of the dots uh, and we can see the color of the dots to get insight to what type of volume it was. Now you see these dots here are in, are in a pie display. Okay, that's because uh, there's so many trades uh, that took place here and so many contracts traded that we don't have the pixel space to display it all. However, uh, uh, we can zoom in, I'll click on the hand tool, hover over this area, and I'm gonna zoom in very quickly just with my center mouse wheel. Might have to reposition my mouse. But uh, uh, now you can see I break apart all of these uh, pie displays into uh, the uh, individual trades, okay? So, uh, and wh what are we showing here? Okay, so uh, basically, uh, here's your historical best offer and best bid. Okay, green dot is a market buy button that takes place on the historical uh, or on the uh, on the best offer and a red dot is on the best bid, okay? That, that is a um, uh, market sell, and this is a market buy, okay? Uh, and um, uh, anyway, as I start to zoom out, uh, you know, you, you can see we were recording every single event. In fact, I know that there's some trades in here. So uh, let's zoom in, okay? And let's break apart all that activity, okay? This is what really occurred. Okay, in this market. Now we're down at just millisecond level. Now we can continue on uh, and we can look at microsecond level and even continue on and get into like nanosecond level. All right, so we're talking billions of seconds here. Okay, all of this data is plotted and recorded. It's very, very objective. Okay, but you know, we don't trade at those, those low time frames. Um, so uh, as I zoom out, what the software does is it aggregates this into a bigger dot to give you the overall, okay? Just based on your zoom, all right? So, uh, and then you can see that uh, the pie display gives you the overall, then you can see that, you know, roughly uh, uh, somewhere between two thirds and three quarters of this was aggressive selling, okay? Hitting the bid hard, all right? And, and driving price down. Okay, so uh, that's how Bookmap solves that problem with the volume. Now, it's a lot like a footprint chart, and I like footprint charts. Uh, they are uh, very informative. Uh, however, there's a problem there. And uh, the problem is that uh, uh, it, it's good. It's good to know that where, where the um, transactions are taking place, but we don't know what the auction looks like. And that's usually when we then turn to a dome, okay? And most traders, are, uh, you know, futures traders are looking at a dome. Uh, maybe to, uh, uh, you know, pinpoint their entries and exits and, and trade management. And, uh, you know, it's good. As you can see, let me go to the current market. Okay. Y you see these levels of liquidity here. Uh, this is your dome and book map. Okay. Your COB column, the current order book. And I have it. I've just right click and I formatted it. And you can see I formatted it as um, numbers only. And I've split out the display and inversed it. Okay, so I mean, you don't have to do that. Uh, I just try to mimic for the, the for the webinar, and I, I like it. I like to see the distinction, and it looks more like a tr traditional dome. On the right side, I have my uh, um, uh, the offer, the uh, depth on the offer. On the left side, I have my depth on the bid, and this is your best bid and offer right here which is reflected here as well with the dashed lines. This is your best bid and offer, and last traded volume is this number. Okay, so this is good. Uh, it is a good uh, picture of the very current state of the market. But you're gonna watch as these numbers change, uh, you, you start to lose that data, okay? Now you, you, you might lose reference because they're adding and pulling liquidity uh, limit orders at these price levels all day long, okay? So the problem there is that uh, once they start pulling and adding, you, you might not remember, and it, it's difficult to remember uh, over a time period, some of these areas here and where they were bidding and offer, offering uh, beforehand. So Bookmap solves that problem with the heat map. 
So let's turn that on. Okay. And what the heat map here represents, and it, it's in this market window here, the current market window, it represents uh, the, um, the liquidity. Okay. So a very bright area is high liquidity. Okay. We can see, we can see they're just jumping in here being very aggressive at 75 with high liquidity. Okay. And uh, so immediately I know uh, how this auction is unfolding. Okay. Now we can adjust it here with the heat map. Uh, and um, uh, maybe look at uh, a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more subtlety in the in the data, uh, and uh, and get reference to it. So look at these striations here. Okay, so these striations are is when the the liquidity is added and pulled here at this price level of 73.75. Um, that uh, all of that data is recorded. Okay. And, and this is where a book map solves that issue of uh, uh, the um, historical evolution of the limit order book. Uh, because uh, once it's um, uh, you know recorded, it's then transposed onto this chart. So you can see the adding and pulling of liquidity here. Okay, you can see it very clear here. Uh, and uh, you know high liquidity, and then they pull, trades into that area. We're getting a lot of insight in this area here. Uh, you know, do they really want to trade? And the answer is no. Um, you know, I mean, they're, they're pulling, uh, they don't, they, you know, they have other, other, uh, agenda per, perhaps, uh, maybe to try to fill some of the liquidity down here. Uh, you know, uh, looking to maybe, uh, try to uh, get weaker hands that have stops down in these areas. Okay. So now, uh, as I zoom out, uh, we have a lot more insight to what, what uh, happened here compared to the candlesticks, okay? All right, so um, uh, any questions on that, all right? Okay, because uh, now we, we can start to read really what occurred here. Look at the high liquidity here on the, on the uh, bid, okay? Coming down into this area here. Uh, and uh, look at the, uh, the aggressive selling, okay? Into high liquidity, okay? And then, um, and let's take these candles off, okay? Because uh, what I was looking for here, uh, let me go over, okay? That I, I, I kind of saw in uh, uh, the volume and um, a little bit in the, in the candles there. Um, the, uh, I actually thought maybe we got a retest of back down and double bottom, but we did not, all right, in that candlestick. But um, so this is really what, what occurred here. Uh, that candlestick lied to me, basically. Um, because um, uh, we came down uh, and um, uh, we, we trade into these areas. Now, we can read the intent of these traders as we come down into this area here with high liquidity. And, um, you know, they're, uh, they're starting to absorb. Uh, and we can see the, the, you know, the volume trading here. And it's, it's uh, the aggressive sellers here are taking the liquidity. Okay. Uh, and in some cases, uh, well, in, like in this area here, this has got to be, we've got to see some icebergs here. We see some. Uh, but, um, yeah, looking for uh, these areas of high liquidity uh, and, um, uh, and how price uh, starts to um, trade and uh, react uh, in these areas here. It's actually a lot of stuff going on in here, okay? Uh, Short-term high liquidity, pressing price down into some of these areas. Uh, and um, uh, anyway, the uh, uh, as, as we come back down into this area here, now we, 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 uh, we get our retest here, right? Look at the volume. We can, just, we can see it in the dots, or we can see it in our subchart here. And, and look at the retest here. Uh, uh, you, you know, we, we, uh, we see the aggressive buying that, that comes in here. Uh, and then, uh, we see a pullback, uh, to where they were buying previously. And there's no, very little selling here. Uh, very few contracts that traded here. We kind of rotate back up and then here's a, a sweep of the book into this area here. Uh, and then now we're trading into a new, a new level and a new zone. Right. Uh, and then, uh, I'm starting to target some of these areas, like some of the swings, like this area up here at 73, uh, and looking maybe at uh, 75 as well. Uh, ultimately, maybe uh, even up here to 78, okay? 
All right, now we didn't get to 78, and you can see it sells right back off, okay? Uh, but uh, we certainly got up to here, all right, up to 75. Um, okay, so uh, anyway, let me see here, some, uh, some questions. Uh, sellers trapped around 10.09. Uh, yeah. The, um, no, I, I really don't see any, any sellers trapped, uh, around this, uh, oh, 1009, I'm sorry, uh, here, yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, and, and, and this is where, you know, tra trap volume, uh, is, um, uh, it's so nice to spot here, uh, because, uh, look how it's behaving. Uh, so, Okay, so here's the volume that, uh, you know, people were bearish uh, and uh, hit the bid here uh, right into, uh, basically into a trap, okay? And uh, and then you see the, the buyers snapped it up here uh, and uh, lifted the offer pretty quickly up out of that area. Look where we, re we retest. We don't even come back down into uh, that heavy volume here, okay? So uh, th this area here is... is you know, any of those sellers here, they're trapped, okay? And they're feeling the pain as price is moving up toward maybe their stops here, maybe here, uh, and uh, and then up here at 75, okay? And then ultimately 78. Uh, but, um, uh, and look how uh, we have um, uh, this, these uh, uh, very high liquidity here ready to absorb any of that, uh, uh, any of those stops, right? Uh, in fact, they actually pull, and we got a, we got a flip of the book here. Uh, but um, uh, anyway, so uh, now we have a sell-off right back down into the same, our same zone here. Okay, this is this is really where, I mean, we see the the um, uh, the, the trap here, but uh, I like this area better. Okay, because this is where we traded above and accepted above. Okay, and that's exactly where we're testing right now. Okay, so. Are these buyers for real? Are they going to step in and and, uh, and support price up at this area here, right around this 71? And that is the question. Okay, uh, and uh, we're looking for it. Okay, we're looking for uh, insight here in Bookmap. All right. So I might be getting a little ahead of myself here. Um, does everyone understand any questions on the on the heat map? Um, you know, what it represents uh, and how to start to read it here. Like in this area here, we, we can start to read this as, as truly an auction, and that's exactly what it is. Uh, and um, uh, that's what we, uh, uh, you know, because they're, they're, they're constantly bidding and offering in this area. And, uh, and we can read it. Okay, so um, okay, look at our, our buyers at 71. Uh, they're starting to show show back up right where we put our line. Okay, uh, and um, uh, you, you know, I mean, if these are buyers that uh, if if they're pos uh, positioned here, well, then this is a deal for them. Okay, get some more on, right? Maybe they took some profit up here as well. Uh, get some more on. Uh, and uh, and look looking for uh, you know uh, the the continuation uh, of that of that move. Okay, they will support price in some of these areas if they are uh, committed. Okay, and we can start to gauge it. All right. Okay. So uh, let's see here. And talking about icebergs, yeah, you know, I'm going to hold off on some of the iceberg orders, uh, even though I've got the uh, the iceberg indicator. This is this is part of the uh, Bookmap Advanced subscription, uh, and um, uh, I'll, I'll just basically uh, uh, describe it here. This this number here, uh, like this 126 here, what it is describing uh, is liquidity that traded. It, you know, actual trades took place here, but the liquidity was not in the limit order book. Okay, so think of an auction and just think of uh, something where, um, you know, someone, you know, you have to have something to, to bid or 
to offer for. Uh, and uh, uh, if uh, you know no one, no one's bidding, but something actually a transaction takes place, well, something's a little off there. Uh, that's impossible. It can't happen, right? Well, in, in the marketplace, it can with a, an iceberg or a hidden order. They don't need to show their liquidity. Uh, they can hide it, uh, and um, uh, that's the the purpose of the iceberg because they don't want to skew the auction. Uh, they don't want to scare people away. They want to get filled at those areas. So you'll see larger players using icebergs, and we can see and capture that here with this number uh, as an add-on in, in Bookmap. Okay? Okay. So uh, now, now we have uh, that, that, um, that complete view here uh, of, uh, of the auction. Uh, and uh, and the traded volume on the historical best bid and offer, and uh, and we have that view as we zoom out, or as we zoom in. Okay, very very fractal. Okay, I mean there's all sorts of fractal uh, microstructures going on within some of these areas. Okay, and uh, uh, you know we 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 see it all day long. Right, uh, you can. Uh, yeah, I mean this looks like a pretty pretty. Pretty straightforward. It's pretty pretty big for a uh, uh, you know for a microstructure, but you might be able to make the argument then that uh, uh, this is a microstructure here that we 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 uh, they um, hit the bid and uh, and traded here down below where it was trading in this range here, okay, and then they snapped it up and then they traded again at this range here, okay. So these two ticks down here. Now these guys would be this would be trap considered trapped volume. Uh, potentially, okay, just like we're looking at this area here on a more fractal level, okay, a larger area. All right, okay, all right. Well, let's um, let's move on. I, I gave you the link here. Some of you guys maybe uh, arrived a bit later, so here is the link. It's in the chat. Uh, if you want to uh, continue on to the next uh, webinar, the um, we're giving you a sneak peek. Uh, to the uh, advanced webinar today. So uh, feel free to join us, uh, and I'm going to kick it off in, uh, in just a minute here. Okay, so I uh, hope to see you there.